Duolingo reports a 485% increase of people studying Ukrainian, stunning data from the translating app. Uh, I'm not surprised. The, the, the whole, the news, mm -hmm. the ceiling, Mo was rushing down there oh, to yeah, meet the, the, re ceiling. the request of the super chat. You didn't even notice the ceiling. That's oh, you didn't show it am. off. Mo was I rushing down. I'm sorry, like, Mo buddy. was sprinting. Mo got on a bike and went down there. A bike because of that? Because <laughs> of the video I don't we know. just watched? I don't know. I don't know why you did it. I don't know what inspired you. Uh, so, yes. Yeah, so people are interested. In, and, and also, from a, an information perspective, people are pro probably... Because, you know, Will, have you ever thought about this before? You watch a video that's translated and you trust that yeah. the translation mm -hmm. is what the person is saying without much thought. If you just watch and you go, okay, and then inevitably I'm on Twitter and I look underneath, they're like, that's not really what they said. And then I'm like, oh, God, mm -hmm. who said what? Who does what? Who right. means what? Who's telling the truth? Right. And then also the small nuances in just the way people speak a different languages. Who's telling the truth? The commenter below, they could be lying. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying now? It's who the variety of incentives and, and, and everything else. And I saw this clip. I saw a clip, Will. You're in Moscow and it's a guy interviewing people. And as like they basically start to open their mouths, they really haven't said anything yet, and boom, detained. Like five, six cops straight into a bus. And then the next person comes up and they say, I'd like to talk. And the microphone goes in their face. <laughs> the cops are just ready to He's, And they go They're right ready in, to I, tackle. Dude, it, it is so, such a shocking clip. And they hold the mic up. And then the next, the, the next person goes, are you only filming people who are opposed to Russia's uh, military operation? And, uh, or are you recording people who agree with it? So this person is playing the angle, and I don't know if it was covert, if they were at some point going to shout something alternative. Mm -hmm. But the guy's like, no, I'm, I'm, we're broadcasting all opinions over here. And she's like, great, and then wham, arrested. <laughs> but you don't even know what she was going to say. Right. Anyway, it's all translated. And then I'm like, what were they really saying? But it turns out the first person translated what they actually said was uh, they, they held up a sign that had some words on it. What the words were translated, they, it said two words. It just said two words, which has become code for no war because you can't say no war. Oh, mm. good. So you just say two words and everyone knows what you mean because it's the only two, it's the two words that people are talking about right now. Wow. Language. Absolutely. That's incredible. Understanding code words, publicly accepted code words, and then truth. But and they our still ability get to discern it. And they got arrested. Yeah. I mean, they're getting arrested. Yeah. The they're getting arrested. But, uh, and it's super, super risky to be arrested for such things over there. Uh, but I can understand why you would see an increase in users interested in, in Ukra learning Ukrainian, polishing up on their Ukrainian, trying to follow all this news, being exposed to all the, these happenings. I would assume Russian would be up as well. There's been an 1,800% increase in users in Poland as well, which we suspect is caused by people in Poland who are welcoming and hosting refugees. Yeah, mm -hmm. they need to communicate. They got to talk. Mm -hmm. Got to 